Coming up, my review of Anima Dulcis from Arquiste. Stay tuned. back everybody this is Joel the nose coming to you from Miami as always and today I'm going to be doing the third part of my series of first impressions of Arquiste the American niche house Arquiste based from New York 2011 um, I've talked about it before this is an American niche house that was actually founded by an architect that specializes in historical preservation so it's very cool background and I've already reviewed uh, L E L and uh, I'll put up a card there for that one in case you missed that review a few days ago and then I did a review of Sydney Rock Pool I'll put up a card next from that one in case you didn't see that review or that first impression and I loved both those you can see I said I'm most likely gonna be adding both those to my collection once they get uh, into Ozme Perfumery, which uh, they've been ordered, and actually I was at Ozme just earlier, just about an hour ago, and uh, apparently they were shipped and should be in the store this week, so I'm excited because I'm going to pick one of them up. I'm not sure which one first. Uh, anyway, so now I'm on to the third part of the series, and uh, this one is called Anima Dulces, Dulces, and uh, this was released in 2012, one of the first releases from the house. And uh, let me put up a picture of the bottle here. Okay, I don't have the bottle again because this is uh, just, I, you know, uh, tested it at Osme. And uh, again, like the other Arquiste bottles, the uh, atomizers on these things are beastly. You get such an amazing spray. So let me show you the spray here. You should have a video. Uh, you see it's an unbelievable atomizer and spray. Okay. Um, just to give you a little background on this fragrance, again, Anima Dulcis. Uh, it is from the same nose or perfumer as the other two, and that is Rodrigo Flores Rue, but this one had a co-perfumer of Jan Vaznier, who I've reviewed before, and you know, also a very prolific and famous uh, perfumer. All right, back on this. The inspiration behind this fragrance is very cool. If you read about it online and on the website for Arquiste, it's basically from a November 1695 in the city, Mexico City, of a Roman Catholic covenant. Um, or, or uh, I'm sorry, convent, not covenant, but a Roman Catholic convent. Picture an old historical church in Mexico City. And any of you who have grown up in the church, whether it be Catholic church or maybe an old Methodist or Protestant church, think of the old wood pews that you sit in, in in the church and if you ever I remember as a kid kind of crawling underneath them and playing them and especially this Methodist church in Ohio near where my mom was from and I would visit and it has a unique smell almost I don't want to say mildewy but you know it's an old wood smell you could get probably the similar smell from an, you know old wood buildings or old wood staircases or an old library with old wood paneling uh, but you get you got to go back. I mean, it's got to be historic. Like I would say, at least probably a hundred years old um, to get that smell. That's what they were going for here, except for much older. And uh, the notes of this at the at the top or the head notes are listed as sesame seed, cinnamon bark, and oregano. The heart notes are clove buds, cumin, jasmine, smoked chili infusion, and the base is Mexican vanilla bean, cocoa bean absolute and an Oriental Shepra Accord. So this is very cool, a lot going on here. Um, I sprayed this about an hour ago, right here actually on the inside of my left arm. So I'm still getting a very fresh uh, smell after it's been sitting for, you know, starting to dry down on my skin. And my impression is, yeah, this smells like it literally takes me back to when I was maybe five years old at that old Methodist church in Ohio where my mom, the church my mom grew up in, this church is over 100 years old. Uh, that just, that wood, you know, just those wood benches and those wood pews. Uh, it is a little bit pungent. It is strong. So uh, I would say, you know, don't be faint-hearted if you want to wear this. You know, you, you got to wear it with strength because this is a little bit more unique. I don't think this is going to be as for the masses as the other two that I reviewed. I think L, which is a modern barbershop, 
smell and uh, Sydney Rockpool, which is a watery blue unique fragrance, I think are going to be more mass appealing. I think this one's going to be for the more particular uh, nodes. Um, I respect what they're doing here. I respect, like the other two, they nailed the smell basically on what, on what they were going for. They nailed the smell here based on the inspiration from a, you know, a monastery or a convent um, <laughs> from the 1600s in Mexico City. But for me, it's just not that pleasing. Maybe it's because I'm thinking of being in church when I was a kid and maybe I didn't want to be there. <laughs> you know, sometimes you're forced to go on Sundays. I don't know. Uh, maybe, but for me, it's just a little bit off-putting. It's a little bit sharp. It's a little bit shrill for my nose, for my skin. Um, when uh, I sprayed it, one of the co-owners at Ozme, uh, Babaka, she uh, she loved it. Of the three Arquistes, actually, this is her favorite. I have to say the three Arquistes that I smelled, this is my least favorite. Um, so again, it's very dark, though. It's very rich. It's very pungent. It's a little sweet. Um, and... That's what I get from it. So again, this is first impression. Uh, once it dries down more, I'll do a full review later. Uh, unlike the other two, which I will be absolutely purchasing one of them in the next probably couple weeks, this one is probably not going to be a purchase, but who knows? Once I let it dry down and let go through, maybe I'll like it more. So I'll give it a chance. I always want to wear things a few times before I make a decision. So uh, if you thought this was useful or if you smell this or have any comments, please, uh, I'd love to hear your comments, what you think. Uh, if you want to subscribe, of course, I would love a subscriber. Thank you for all those who have already done that. Santa Claus thanks you also. St. Nick, I really appreciate it, guys, and I hope everyone's having a great day, and I will be back soon with another video. Thanks.